Hi, I'm Jenny Grow. Thanks for staying with us. Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful's Adopt-A-Street program is so important in helping maintain the cleanliness of this city and its roadways. With us today, we have Allison McDonald, who is the Keyport St. Lucie Beautiful coordinator. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. What is this program all about? Can you explain a little bit what it what it is? The Adopt a Street program uh, was established over 20 years ago, and it was when we were Port St. Lucie was going through the big boom, and uh, it was to establish to curtail the the litter that was following the increased population. Um, so we were looking to get the residents involved, um, which helps with the streets that um, are. For example, our litter crew um, maintains a lot of streets, so it assists in the streets that aren't able to be maintained as much. Okay. Um, okay. The Adopt a Street program uh, is for residents of the city of Port St. Lucie, it's for businesses, it's for homeowners associations, for churches, Girl Scout tr troops, Boy Scout troops, right. and so on. Okay. So. Um, it's it's for it's for the city of Port St. Lucie residents. Absolutely, and I know that that two-man litter crew really focuses on the main thoroughfares, the main roadway. So it's important to get some help in doing the smaller streets back in the neighborhoods and communities. And that's what we would like to encourage. We would like to encourage families. It doesn't take an army of people right. to uh, maintain or to do a cleanup once a month of you know a mile roadway. Right. So, I mean, it could take, you know, three, four, or five people on a Saturday morning or, you know, a Sunday afternoon just to take a walk. Right. Joggers are in, are part of our Adaptive Street program. Right. Walkers take advantage of this program as well. Absolutely. Um, and so it doesn't take an army, like I said. It just takes a family, a couple, uh, maybe a couple, um, neighbors within the neighborhood and they want to just walk the block Absolutely. and it is definitely uh, a positive impact. I've seen some people actually with their dogs they take the dog out for the walk they might as well take an extra bag pick up litter you know as they're walking their dog. Exactly why not? And just a mile I mean especially if there's more than one person it could take just about an hour, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more. And, and I think that the more you do it, the more you'll see the impact that you're making. So every time you clean, it's less and less litter. Absolutely, and that's what we're finding. And that's what we're finding. The people who um, you know started may have taken them three hours right. to do a cleanup. Right. And now, they, or maybe they thought they had to do a cleanup um, twice a week, and maybe now they only have to uh, go out once a week and so it is great when they see right. the progress that they're making and that their effort is I know it's not going unnoticed so it's good to see the progress right now when you do sign up for this program you're only required to go out once a month is that right that's correct okay okay well that even that even just that once a month really does make a difference once a month and like you said it could maybe take an hour or maximum two hours mm -hmm. but it's not a lot of time and there's no cost in this program and keep Port and see beautiful will provide all of the groups with the necessary items equipment to do a safe cleanup we offer the grabbers we give the vests we give shirts we give gloves and the garbage bags and we also provide them with a safety video so and that they're all required to watch right right it's wonderful. I've talked to a lot of Adopt a Street members and they say, you know, on their routes people drive by and they honk and they wave and people people notice and people thank them. So it's really rewarding for the members as well, I think, to be a part of it. If someone wants to sign up, how do they go about doing that? They could easily go to the city's website, cityofpsl.com slash kpslb, um, and they can get the contact information. Um, they could fill out an application. It's available online. They can contact our office and they could call us even before they come in and we could help them um, decide what it, what street it is that they actually want to or are interested in adopting. A lot of the times we ask where they live okay. and are they looking to adopt their street or their neighborhood. Um, and then we can go on our look at our maps and see what streets have been adopted and which haven't and maybe we can okay. assist them with a street in need. We do have some streets here, even though we have our litter crew that are on a rotation. So a lot of the streets
streets that they maintain really could use um, more cleanups right. to assist. So we can assist in different ways and we can offer streets in need and if they right. um, want to adopt, you know, they can adopt up to, you know, from one mile up to two miles. Right. So uh, we understand that um, that maybe a two miles may be too much, too much for one person. Right. However, if it's just, we understand that not all streets may be one mile long or right. so, we definitely understand that so as well. So you're very flexible in figuring out which portion is right for this particular group or, you know, the length of the street. Absolutely. And in our okay. mission, our goal is to uh, get rid of litter. So anybody who's willing to help, like I said, whether they want to adopt a street mm -hmm. or if they would just want to go out in their neighborhood and if they right. take their dog for a walk and they yeah. see something just to simply pick it up Absolutely. if they see something in their own yard that maybe had gotten thrown out of the a window right. of a car right. Uh, right to just assist in that way as well how can members keep track of the cleanups I know that's required as well it is once they do a cleanup they can simply go online again to the city's website okay. and there's a form online you can submit it electronically and it basically reports it'll ask how many volunteers did you have how many hours did it take you okay. how many bags of garbage did you collect and then it gets sent to our office and then we can compile that information and we have those reports. Okay, and then that, that probably just gives you a really good idea of what's being taken care of and maybe where to send the litter crew next, you know, if, if there's a high concentration of, right. of, you know, streets in one area, then you know you don't necessarily have to send the litter crew out there. Right, and it okay. also assists when we have our Great American Cleanup. Um, which takes place um, between March and April. Okay. So we can uh, strategically send out the groups right. um, to places that are in need, neighborhoods right. that may be in need. So right. we really want to stress um, that we're looking for neighborhood streets. We would like families to get involved. It's a yeah, nice outing. It doesn't take a lot of time. Right. And it's so simple. Um, and it can really help in the beautification of our city. Absolutely. How many miles of roadway are there total? I know it's a, it's a we lot. We have 160,000 square miles, the okay. city of Port St. Lucie is. Oh so we have 80 adopt a street groups and okay. they have adopted over 90 miles. That's great. We have our two man litter crew and they have a route of approximately 141 miles. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of roadway that needs to be covered, Absolutely. you know, within the city limits. Right, right. Okay, great. And one more time, if anyone, uh, if it's a an individual, a family, a church group, some sort of other Girl Scout group or something like that, if someone's interested, again, just how do they get that information? about? They the can go to the city's website, cityofpsl.com slash kpslb, okay. or they can contact the Public Works Department okay. at 772-871-5000. Okay, great. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I hope this drums up some activity and hopefully more people will sign up. Absolutely. Okay. We're looking to do incentives also. I wanted to mention okay. um, right at this point we have in place that if they adopt um, two miles then they get a sign on oh, okay. that specific roadway. However, we're looking to offer um, valuable incentives okay. to the volunteers just to show their efforts Absolutely. and to appreciate their efforts okay. as well. So Great. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Allison McDonald, uh, Keyboard St. Lucie Beautiful Coordinator. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. All right. Take care. <laughs> All right. And we'll be right back after this message.